everybody, welcome to Major Misconduct. I'm Scott Taylor, that's Kurt Keelback. We're back for another week of exciting sports action at the 360winnipeg.ca sports report. And we're live, absolutely live, from Four Play Sports Bar in downtown Winnipeg. It's a gorgeous place and we're glad you can join us. Because I have to talk about a number of the things that we didn't get to in last week's show simply because we ran out of time. There was just too much stuff going on and Mike Davidson was here and hogged most of it. <laughs> I want to start with Ichiro. A uh, huge trade, I think, for the New York Yankees. And I think before all is said and done, Ichiro is going to hit 300 for the Yankees. I, I think he'll, he, he, he'll kind of get his mojo back, as they say. I thought the exit of Ichiro from Seattle was one of the most wonderful things I've seen in baseball. It's one of those things that makes, that makes you smile when you talk about baseball, is that Ichiro gets introduced to, for his first at bat and bows to the crowd. I thought it was extremely cool. And then, of course, he gets a base hit and steals a base, and he's yeah. Ichiro. <laughs> This will be one of the best things that happened to the New York Yankees this year. You know, this is uh, totally different from the Rick Nash trade, which happened on the same day. Rick Nash leaves a franchise, and suddenly that's, they've got nothing, as something that was supposed to have been a building block. Now you get the situation where Ichiro Suzuki, the best player Seattle's ever had, he's been there. Oh, I don't and, know. Ken well, Griffey might have been yeah, close. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, over the last... Alex uh, Rodriguez yeah. was close. Okay. But let's, let's get on with it. He, he was their best player, has been for yes. a while. Okay. And now, so, but he's also 37 or 38 years old. His batting average at the time they traded him was 60 points below what it had been a lifetime. He wasn't going to take Seattle anywhere. They no, weren't right. going anywhere. So now he moves on. They get some youth to build on because they are a team of the future. And the New York Yankees, they get another bat, another arm, another speedster, another guy that looks like he's going to be a winner. I mean, and does he come in at the perfect time? Trade. Nick Swisher gets hurt. You've got no right fielder. Oh, let's go out and get the best right fielder available. Let's get a guy going to the Hall of Fame who will probably hit 300 for us at 38 because he can still run, he can still sp steal bases, he still fields his position probably better than anybody else in the game. Um, for the Yankees, this is a perfect deal. And, you know, if you look down the lineup of the New York Yankees, I mean, how do you pitch to them? Really, how do you pitch to them? I mean, it just goes on and on. I mean, you got Jeter, you got Rodriguez, you got, uh, well, Swisher's up, but you got Teixeira and... Uh, I mean, they could even bring in guys that uh, don't normally play. They, they platoon good players. And now just all the way down the lineup, every single guy can swing the bat. And that is why they recently went 43 games, scoring at least three runs a game. They beat you on offense. Not on defense. They haven't got great pitching, but... They'll score great, more runs great offense. Yeah, and now with Ichiro, they'll get even better. Uh, this is Major Misconduct. We have just talked about Ichiro Suzuki. We're going to come back and talk more baseball about the Winnipeg Gold Eyes, and I'm going to let Kurt run the show uh, when we come back on uh, 360winnipeg.ca live from 4Play Sports Bar.